Hi, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. Um, so my idea for a thesis was I was going to do an artifact based project. Um, and I wanted to design or build a an online community that would um, bring in the principles of human centered design, the best practices of online lo learning and UX best practices um, that can be applied to. So I was trying to go for like a really specific group of people and a really specific topic. So I chose fiber art um, and make it like an online review community where people could present ideas, but um, also have the option to learn more and then participate in the community and actually over time become like the teachers themselves through um, through like the, using the principles of online learning. Um, and so my research question was what was or what would be the most effective way to present information in an online learning community that not only will help users learn, but give them the necessary information and confidence to apply what they have learned in real life situations. And um, I, I wasn't sure if I am getting the methods correct, but I was thinking it would be something along observational online qualitative research um, based on the online community. And I put prototyping in because I would be building something and the methodology would be qualitative and the sample group would be, I, I could use like the modern quilt guild members um, and for bibliography I list, listed a bunch of resources. Um, so that's the basis. Maybe I have to trim the theories a little bit, but I didn't want to go too much into it until I presented this to see if I was on the right track here. So, So are you looking at, at sort of redesigning a particular class? Is that where you're going with this or? Um, well, not redesigning. I was going to like build an actual website that could be used as an online community. But an online community for sharing ideas about online learning. Oh, you got it right there. Create an online fiber art critique community. Yeah, I was trying to make it really specific. But. That's good. No, I'm glad to see that, actually. It's a little hard. It's, the text is really small. But oh. Mm. You know, it's hard for me to... Okay. You're pushing my... Uh, I have I have two monitors, and I think it's on the smaller, smaller monitor. Okay. That's one. Okay, so you sort of want to design an online learning environment. For mm -hmm. this did you take 541 day online uh, instructional design classes? I think you did. Yeah, I did. Okay, and what did you, when you designed a class in that class, what was it? Was it, you recall? I don't recall. It was like, I can look it up. I don't recall off the top of my head. Well, one reason I'm thinking is you'd be halfway home. You know, you, you, you'd be almost okay. completely home, actually. Okay. That one. Okay. Um, and uh, that's sort of one of the underlying ideas of that is that, you know, the only thing you need to do after that is sort of expand a little bit on it. But you would have done the lit review already. You would have done the, <clears throat> the mock-ups and the idea. And all you have to do is, uh, 
You don't have to do anything, maybe. Maybe you're done. I, I, I mean, you're supposed to be pretty close on that. I, I, well, you'd have to write out your methodology. Mm -hmm. But um, what are you using to analyze the quality of your site? Are you using human-centered design and UX best practices? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You might consider also something like um, cognitive learning skills or okay. um, instructivist learning. You know, some of the, the things that help direct uh, how this would build over time. Okay. okay. Uh, so that would sort of give you Some thoughts. Okay. Many practitioners in the formal art of design. Um, yeah, you may have done something like this when you did it. I don't. I don't remember specific students' work, but I do know a number of people looked at design as a okay online learning environment. Um, Bloom's taxonomy, that's what I was thinking about. I knew I'd come up with that eventually, um, okay. but that's what I tend to use. So it's this idea of starting from the theoretical side and teacher-centered to student-centered. So at the end, they would end up creating uh, some yes. fiber art or something. You know what I mean? So you, you start from the lecturing side and then you move to mm -hmm. having giving assignments. Um, and all you would need for the thesis is, you know, a bunch of mock-ups and uh, you don't have to have a final class. You just have to think of what, you know, be able to justify what you're setting up. Um, okay. okay. So, yeah, I think you'd be, what is the most effective way to present information? I like the research questions. Helps users learn, but gives them necessary information and confidence to apply what they've learned in real life. So, oh, I see, because that's what they do in this uh, art community. Okay. So, theory, a combination of human centered design. Yeah, I think this sounds good. Um, do you have thoughts? as to who would um are you got me down there okay yeah well especially if you um start with uh the uh, instructional design class use mm -hmm. review that's already gone through extensive uh you know feedback and uh you know input from other people in that class and um yeah, I mean, the, the one thing I would not do um, is I wouldn't worry about like testing, it, you know, having quilt, um, quilt members actually use it and give you feedback at this stage. I would just create a pilot prototype. Okay. Um, and the reason I say that is because um, of IRB. Um, you'll notice this is a common theme. I try to avoid. Um, having to involve human subjects as much as possible. Sometimes you don't think of them that way, um, but uh, it's often you're using um, individuals, even if it's focus groups or surveys, mm -hmm. you have to get every survey approved. And focus groups require uh, consent forms for everyone in that focus group. And, and those things can just, uh, historically they've made it difficult to Okay. So we've moved more towards designing a prototype. And then in theory, you could take that prototype and run with it and do a focus group when you're mm -hmm. no longer constrained by, you know, the, the thesis um, requirement. Okay. So you do that on your own. You might have to get approvals from, you know, if you were working at a school or whatever and doing it, you might have to get their IRB approvals, but not ours. Okay. Um, so that's where I would go with that. Um, yeah, 
So just design a class, um, apply theory, and uh, so like that. Those methods too, like instead of observational, um, <clears throat> I would just apply the theory and design the course on your own. Um, I'm not sure how you would do the observations anyway. Um, yeah, without human yeah. subjects. And, th and that becomes um, complicated too. I don't think we've really trained people that well in that. In other words, if you're doing um, observations, you have to know how to do observations. You have to, for instance, understand, oh, there's something called the read aloud method where you get people to read everything aloud. So you, they immediately make comments on things. Otherwise, too much is going on in their head. You never know what they liked or, you know, as they were reading. So, um, and there's other uh, aspects for usability. Um, and uh, that I don't think we do a lot with. We, we do more about the front end, prototyping and designing mm -hmm. and colors and color theory and design theory. and um, historical approaches um, than we do in terms of uh, surveys. Um, I don't know that we have a survey course. I mean, you may have done some of that in the research methods class, I don't know, but um, other, we don't tend to, use, to explain that or, or teach that in our regular classes or our lectures. Okay. <clears throat> so I wouldn't. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And there's your Elysian Trollope, which is really what I was thinking, both in terms of cognitive theory, in terms of uh, Bloom's taxonomy, and in terms of, uh, you know, the uh, how we learn sort of thing. That, that we do cover. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're at...